Hey everybody, Corey here. So in light of our recent global situation, I am coming to you from a different location. Um, the entire Owl Crate team is working from home at the moment, so I am in my house, and these are my bookshelves. Um, so we still wanted to um, put content up on this channel, so I took the camera home with me, and I'm gonna be making hopefully at least one video a week for you guys while this uh, thing sorts itself out, shall you say. Um, I know a lot of us are feeling really anxious and kind of scared about what's happening in the world, so I wanted to make a video today with some graphic novel recommendations that are all like uplifting and fun and adventurous and will put a smile on your face as a bit of escapism if it's something that you need right now. I know a lot of us are um, social distancing um, and it can be a bit lonely and I understand that, so it's fun to be able to pick something up and really get immersed in something just to get, take your mind off of things and I think a graphic novel is a great way to do that. Now I've picked several graphic novels off my shelf here at home that I think was just going to be a perfect way to get your mind off what's happening for a bit so let's just get into it. Now the first one is very popular but I had to include it on the list because it's just ever so charming and that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Um, this was, uh, as the sticker says, a finalist for the National Book Award and it is just fantastic. It definitely uh, lives up to all of the hype surrounding it. Um, Nimona is a shapeshifter young girl who wants to be the sidekick to the villain in this story and he kind of reluctantly takes her on as his supervillain sidekick. So in this story they are determined to prove that Sir Ambrosius Goldenloin, who is kind of the golden boy of the society, isn't all he's cracked up to be and isn't this fine, uh, nice, good character and they're gonna take him down. Um, it's just, it's funny, it's witty, it's charming, um, it has a lot of heart to it, and at the end of the day it's just gonna make you feel really good. Next up I have Check Please by Ngozi Ukazu. Um, I, if you don't know, really love hockey, but you definitely do not need to be into hockey to appreciate this graphic novel. Um, this book follows a freshman at Samwell University named Biddy, um, and Biddy was previously a figure skater but now has joined uh, the hockey team at this university. Um, and quickly starts having feelings, shall we say, for the dreamy captain of the hockey team. Um, I just loved how inclusive this book was. Um, Biddy is hilarious. He's a baker, he's a vlogger, and all of his teammates really go out to accept him. Um, you know, it's there's no issue with him being gay. Um, and it's just about, you know, his, his year um, his first year on this hockey team at this university, and I don't know why I haven't picked up more volumes of it yet, but it's just utterly charming. It will make you hungry for baked goods, though, but definitely one to check out. Next up, I have Bera the One-Headed Troll by Eric Orchard. Now, this is a graphic novel that Kelly made me read in our co-worker Pixar TBR uh, last year, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, this is about Bera, and she is a solitary troll who lives on this island and is perfectly happy just tending to her pumpkin patch, and then one day a human baby appears, and it seems like she is the only uh, creature, person who doesn't want this baby dead, so she ends up going on, a re again, a reluctant adventure uh, to save this baby. And she says, like it or not, Bear has gone and found herself a quest. Um, the art is beautiful, it's something a bit different, um, you do run into all these kinds of creepy monsters, but at the end of the day it is a really feel-good story. Next is a kind of strange one, but I found this at the thrift store, and it's definitely more aimed for children, but I read it in like 10 minutes, and it's just so cute. And that is Binky the Space Cat by Ashley Spires. Um, this is about Binky, who is a space cat. He's really just a regular house cat, but he thinks he belongs in space, and he lives um, in his home, which he calls the space station, and it is his uh, duty to protect his people from alien invasion. Um, super cute, super short, just gonna put a smile on your face. It's really just a delightful tiny read. Next up is a book we included in our Owl Crate, and that is The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Um, I think this is probably one of the most delightful graphic novels out there. Um, it's not only absolutely stunning in its art style, but its story is just 
so heartwarming. Um, it's about a young blacksmith apprentice named Greta and she one day finds a lost tea dragon in the market and she ends up taking this tea dragon to the tea shop and learning this kind of dying art of tea dragon raising. Um, it's like I said just so so adorable. I cannot possibly imagine somebody picking this up and thinking they don't like it but it, it's just delightful. Pick it up. Next up is one that's on the more adventurous side of things but it's definitely also has its moments that are just so fun and feel good um, and that is Amulet. Um, this is the first volume, it's called The Stone Keeper. I've read all of them now, there's seven out right now I believe and I think more to come. Um, this whole series is beautiful, some of the most beautiful, gra beautiful graphic novel art I've ever seen. Um, but this is set in a world um, set in our world to begin with. And it follows a family, um, Emily Navin and their mother, and they've had this family tragedy, so they move into this ancestral home, and on their very first night in this home, um, their mother gets kidnapped into another world, and so Emily and Navin have to go after her. Um, it's a middle grade story, it's just delightful. Uh, again, there's lots more adventure to this one, of, um, but it also has it's just delightful family moments and there's all these cool creatures and there's a lot more to this one than meets the eye and I think if you haven't picked it up yet it's definitely one worth reading. Don't let the fact that it's middle grade put you off at all. And next up we have one that was very popular uh, last year and I mean it's still popular I'm sure but that is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. Um, if you didn't know what the story is about, is about our Prince Sebastian who his family is looking to find him a bride and marry him off but really all he wants to do is um, dress up at night in these fabulous dresses and he goes out on the town disguised as Lady Cristalia. The person that makes these dresses is Frances and she is one of only two people that know this secret side of him. It's just a beautiful story of their friendship and really going after what you truly want in life. Small Stephen break because I hope this makes you happier too. Lee, he was knocking at the door. But we have one more book to get to. Can I talk about one more book? Let's do it. So the last one, I'm gonna put a bit of a caveat because it does discuss a lot of mental illness and uh, yeah, it really just delves into mental illness because it is a graphic memoir. But that's Hyperbole and a Half um, by Ali Brosh and it's in Unfortunate Situations, Flawed Coping Mechanism, Mayhem, and Other Things That Happened. Like I said, be very careful going into this one if you are feeling anxious or worried or stressed um, because again it really does go into it but if you feel like you can handle reading about those topics it is genuinely one of the funniest books I've ever read in my entire life. Um, I remember going on a road trip with some friends several years back and we would literally lay in bed at night together and I would read this out loud to them as we were all laying in bed and we would just crack up laughing. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, if you can handle something like that, this is my last recommendation, but it comes with a caveat because I totally understand if it's not something you're going to want to pick up right now. Alright, so those are a few of my graphic novel recommendations for you that I hope will bring you some laughter and light in this stressful time. I know we're all kind of going through it at the moment and I'm, I'm wishing you all the best safety and health that you can have. Um, if you have any more recommendations for us, leave them in the comments down below. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe for more. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye!